We're going to uh, discuss roof structures, okay, and how to actually create like sloping roofs. Okay, that's all we need to get to for today. It's a relatively uh, straightforward um, sample of a building. So um, anyway, roof structures, believe it or not, are also profile based. If you could take a guess at which type of profile you would draw, what do you think it would be? What would it look like? Profile of a roof. Well, yeah, I mean, but is it going to be like a section or plan view profile? What's it going to be? Well, you already knew that. <laughs> All right, it's going to be a plan view profile, right? So the roof, its function is to cover things. So you draw what it covers, and then you have other analytical properties that are going to define what it looks like, like the angles and stuff like that. So um, under architecture, we can click on roof. Um, and uh, yeah, level two is kind of all right. Yeah, we'll work with level two. Um, it's saying you created the roof on the lowest level. Would you like to move it to a certain level, right? That's just, you know, I might be looking at level one, but I want the roof to be associated with another level. Does that make sense? Yes. So um, I'm going to say yes. And uh, here, uh, the way I'm gonna, the way I typically do this is I try to trace the the profile, and then I just kind of offset in order to create something. However, we have that little nook in the bottom, so I don't need to draw that nook because it's going to cover that thing pretty well. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle around the whole thing. Um, don't worry about what these little locks are. We're going to talk about that stuff later. But I do want to point out to you this little um, triangle symbol. Okay, the triangle symbol is the symbol for slope. And that's going to exist next to any roof um, pro roof profile segment that is going to slope upward from that point. So um, basically, if I select one of these lines, um, it has a 9 to 12 slope that's going up this direction. Okay. Um, so real quickly, I'm just going to uh, hit the check bar. Well, actually, sorry, before I hit check, um, Alejandro, you said that it was supposed to extend beyond the building. Well, you could do that manually by like moving the lines. Like I could select this and say uh, move is MV. And I can move it like a foot out. Or I can take the offset tool. That's uh, that one up there. It's uh, this guy right there. And I can hover over one of those lines. Um, but the cool thing about the offset command is just like when you tab through to select things, um, you can tab through to do offset on the whole profile. So I offset the whole profile, and then I tab and select the whole interior profile and delete that. Did you guys see that? Where, where's the offset button? Um, I'll go back to the beginning. Okay. So guys, off the, eyes off your screens up here. Um, you um, grab the offset button right there, top left corner-ish, um, and then you tab when you're on that element, and then deactivate the command. You can select that whole interior profile, and then delete. And it's going to be one space. Yeah, you only need one profile. Oh, one foot, yeah. Yeah, because you didn't tell what it's going to be. It changes the how much it's going to be offset. And now we use on yeah, I, I, didn't change, I, I didn't change that. Let me show you that as well. So... Um, if you want to change that distance, select the offset command, and uh, you're going to get well acquainted with this little green bar here. That's your, um, I guess, like a tool features bar. Um, and you'll see that it says offset one foot. You can actually just grab that and change that to two feet if you'd like, and it'll go a little bit further out. Now that one's not doing it. Now it doesn't want to behave. What's that? No. No, it's not behaving. Well, all right. If it doesn't work, you can just go like that, and you'll see that it'll connect the corners for you. Yeah, I, don't worry about it. Um, it um, mine wouldn't let me for some reason. Um, anyway, so uh, this is what it looks like, guys. It's a roof. You can kind of see the shape of it. Right? 
It's a, it's a hip roof, um, but I want you guys to be aware of something, okay? If you look at it in plan, right, it's, it's your pretty standard hip roof, um, but the walls are poking out above it. So remember when we talked about those constraints? We talked about um, the interior walls are going up to level two, and we created this roof on level two. So if I look at it in elevation, you can see that that roof structure is is tied to that level. See that? Um, we need to take all of these exterior walls, and it doesn't matter how high they are, right? So part of the reason um, I was okay with leaving the height of this wall um, different than the rest is because it really doesn't matter that they are different because you can take all of those walls and tie it to the underside of the roof. And I'm going to show you that real quick. Everybody needs to pay attention. Hey, everybody. Yeah, I might have accidentally just escaped it. It does do that, um, typically. So anyway, uh, there, if you tab and select all the exterior walls, you can go to Attach Top to Base, and then you do that. And it trims everything down. You guys need to see that again? Yes. Okay, all the walls are sticking up. Just hit Tab to select all of your exterior walls that are contiguous. And then hit attach top to base, and then you select the roof, and it attaches to the bottom. Pretty cool, right? Um, it, mine probably did too. I might have reactively just hit escape. Um, very good point, though, uh, guys, with the uh, attaching things to the roof. So this is more of a, a personal preference for it. I never let it do it automatically. Because right now, you might know that all of those roof elements you want to, be, or all of those wall elements you want to be attached to the roof, but that's not always the case, right? You, when it does it automatically, you can't control which elements it's selecting. So I generally just ignore that, and then I do what I want manually. So um, anyway, I, I wanted to show you just one other thing with that. The, the, the roof element is right now sloping on all four sides, and I tied all four of or all of the exterior walls to that roof. But if I change the roof profile, I will be able to, or the, the walls will be able to automatically adjust to the profile of the roof. So I'm gonna change this um, roof so that these front faces aren't, um, aren't sloping, right? Um, so I'm gonna edit, uh, let me go back to plan view. So let's turn off that slope. And that's done by selecting these two and then you go into your properties menu and you can turn off defines roof slope. Okay, so pay attention to this part real closely. When I hit check, there you go. So that wall adjusted to the new roof style. You guys need to see that again? Okay, going back, we've got that roof. I'm going to say edit roof, go into plan. I'm going to select these. I'm going to uncheck defines roof slope. Right? You won't see any triangles on those after I turn that off. Then you finish up the edit, and you go out, and it's there and adjusted. OK? All right, so any questions? Nope. Awesome. So I'm going to come around and make sure that you guys get to this level. I'd like you first to do the, the hip roof and then swap it out, um, and then we'll We'll call it a night at that, okay?